Oh, he's on fire. You watch him go. Hello guys! Welcome back to an episode of Minecraft. It's always this is Jason. And the first thing I have to do is settle something that I settled in episode 297. But I'm gonna have to do it again apparently, because I don't know, man. I have gotten so many comments about uh why you know watch beat up below's videos? He found your golden record. And I just am like, why don't you watch my videos? I just explained that that wasn't my golden record. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. Oh, where's that? This golden record right here. You see it? You see it? You looking at it? Good. Let's grab it. Let's grab it right here. See this one? You see it? You looking at it? Hope you're looking at it. Look at it. Stare at that motherfucker. Let's go in here. I hope this is like ingrained in everyone's brain. I hope you're paying attention. That golden record right there. See it? It's in my hand. You looking at it? You see it? Can you see it? Alright. Hope you can see it. Still looking at it, aren't you? Don't don't stop. Remember this. Remember this moment, everyone. Okay? You remember this golden record right here? Remember it? Remember? Beat it below found it in his video. He found it. You remember it? You seeing it? You seeing it? Watch it. That was a fucking golden record that Etho gave me. All right, is that covered? Hope everyone understands. Why you guys don't watch Beat Double those videos? <laughs> oh man, that feels so good. Glad that's over with. <sighs> so some people have said that they think Pyro took my golden record, and that's who I thought it was too, man. Cause he didn't know no better. Any? <laughs> Any better? I haven't harvested this stuff in forever. Why some of it missing? Somebody been stealing my shit? Why is some of it missing? No, it should be missing. Just that one piece? No, it's missing over there too. What the hell? Oh yeah, oh that's missing. Something is a foot. It's probably your foot. Alright, anyways. So today... Today we're recording episode 299. <laughs> of 300. Uh, well, I shouldn't say of 300, because then someone might think that there's only going to be 300. You can only make 300 videos, dude. Why are you only making... Oh my god! What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go plant this down here. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so, I figured out what I'm going to do for my 300th video, and it's not going to be anything super special. It's going to be a sad day. Cause it's cause I I just don't have time to do what I really would love to do, but uh, we're doing something. We're getting everybody together at least. That's all that matters. Everybody come together right now on the server. <laughs> uh, yep. Put that away. All right. So uh, I bought a new game. Shocker, huh? Um, well, first off, <laughs> it's funny. The last episode I said that Pauls and I were going to play Sniper Elite and uh, version 2. And everyone was like, <laughs> Dude! 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 You guys should play Sniper Elite. <laughs> I'm like, Oh my god! <laughs> what are Ethos talking about? Oh, the kittens. He's growing right now. It's secret. You guys can't. You guys can't know. Um... So, I'm going to, all by my lonesome, probably work on a couple things, because I don't think any of it's going to be too too exciting to watch. Um, the first of things, you know, the the bricks here has gotten mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people hate it. I really like it, though, so I guess that's really all that matters, huh? <laughs> that's something the only one that can really change it. Um... Entertainment over here. Are we comparing entertainment versus the ability to hear? I don't understand what he's talking about. Maybe, maybe he just misspelled here. All right. Anyways, um, I have an axe. Still don't have my axe. Which one of these is? 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this right here all the way up and I've been thinking about it and with these uh, these lamps here I think I'm gonna do like a staggered effect so that it goes up <laughs> it's already going up I guess it's gonna go oh no well here they come it's gonna go that way kinda so whenever you you step on this you can you can kinda see it People keep wanting me to change this so that it's more efficient, and I'm not gonna. Not. Not doing it. You can't make me. Um. Because. I don't wanna. <laughs> That's pretty much it, really. Um. Kinda sums it up, I guess. The thing is, like, everyone, you know, everyone keeps telling me, did you know? <laughs> and I did, in fact. Um. But did you know that if you, if you have reeds that are grown like that, if you wanna press. This this top one over here down there. You gotta have a piston right there. And uh I knew. I knew. I know. <laughs> Still know. N not just new. Um problem is, for one thing, this right here would get in the way, so that wouldn't work. Um next problem is that uh I'd have to rewire everything. And I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so basically, no. Fuck you. I will not. Uh, you can't make me. Um Another thing I think I'm going to work on today, if uh, I have time, is grabbing all these. Uh, oh no, don't fall. I almost fell. Why is there... The hell's my dirt, man? What the fuck? I ain't even got no dirt. I can't fix it. People keep telling me that, uh... I'm glad that water didn't decide to just... I guess it can't. Um... That's weird. What, where the hell did that dirt go? <laughs> where did that dirt go? <laughs> um, I've decided I'm going to go with uh, with this design right here for the wall, but I'm going to finish up this wall first. Um, another thing I'm going to do if I have the time is go down over here and start putting in the railroad tracks because I've got quite a bit of iron now. So I think I'm set to start doing that. Um, yeah to get all this stuff wired up here uh... and i think that's about it um, i don't know how long this episode's going to be because i actually don't have much time i just got home um, it's wednesday night and as you guys know i go see my uncle on wednesday nights so i just got home from that and that's a whole like six hour ordeal in itself so um... i don't have a lot of time tonight so i'm going to see what i can get done and uh, I might I might record some of it just so I can talk to you guys, tell you about my day. <laughs> That's so weird. All right. Um. But yeah, I'll be back. Hi again. I haven't done anything. <laughs> oh man, I just said something totally racist. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess he is. <laughs> oh man, uh, Ethan knows I'm unfiltered. Uh, you know, uh, the reason why I am recording all of a sudden, even though I haven't actually done anything, is I realized I don't even have enough time to do this and then record afterwards. So, fuck it, we're doing it live again. Um. And I'm making uh, some chests over here because I need to bring some stuff in this room. And I don't know how much we're gonna accomplish in the time I have, but we need episode 299 so we can have episode 300. So I'm crushed for time here. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. I can't help it. Uh, but uh, man, I just had something good to talk about. It just like escaped me. Um, one of the things that I, I, I've worked out an idea for a storage system, and I'm really happy with my idea, but uh, I want it to be this big surprise, so I'm not going to show you guys, or tell you guys anything right now. Um, wait, give me this back. Right. This chest will probably stay here, so I can throw these in here on a regular basis. Um, so, but I'm going to throw all my stuff in here right now, so I can go grab some smooth stone. I think I'm going to do this with uh, regular brick. Um, I didn't really think what I was doing because I was thinking I was going to put this whole, fill this whole thing with glass. 
Oh man. Um, <laughs> my, my my airways were closing on me. Um, yeah, see, so you, know, you know, I'll leave that there for now. Uh, I see it's gonna fill the whole thing with glass. So I put that glowstone in there, and then I realized that um, I don't want the whole thing filled with glass. But I think I'm gonna leave that glowstone still visible. So, yep, I think it'll be all right. So, uh, how do we talk about my uncle in a while? He's not doing so great. He's uh, he's gonna die. <laughs> Oh, uh, I know that's not funny, but that's just what people do. They, they die. Um, but uh, he's probably gonna do it for any of us. Um, which technically, the doctor said he should have done it like about 20 years ago, but uh, he's been being lazy about it, I guess. Um, give me those. All right. So there's that. Um, of course, he's been he's been in rehab now. Well, he's not really actually there for rehab. It was more of a rest home for him. Uh, he's been there for over six months now. He he first got there before my daughter was born. So, you know, it's funny <laughs> going back to the comments thing from the start of this video. Uh, I, I get a lot of comments asking if I have a ch if I have any kids. And it's like, man, my daughter was only born like literally six months ago today. Um, well, I'm assuming this video is going to be uploaded on the 3rd, so even though it's being recorded right now on the 2nd, um, on the 3rd it will be 6 months, because she was born on the 3rd. Uh, so it's only been 6 months. Like, man, I just, I keep forgetting that there's so many people that come, that, that you know, are new to the channel, and they don't go back and watch anything prior. They <laughs> And those are also the same people that complain when there's not a new Minecraft video every day. It's like, dude, there's 260 plus videos you've never watched. Quit your bitching. <laughs> um, but um, so yeah, I, I went and saw him tonight, and the the doctors are saying that his leukemia is getting worse. You know, he stopped all treatment altogether. Um, whenever he whenever he fell and broke his ribs and end up in this place he's at now, um, he told him you know he didn't want any more chemotherapy, radiation, uh, anything pretty much. So. Um, so really, they didn't expect him to last as long as he has. I'm sure I have everything I want here. By the way, see see that golden record or golden green record? Yeah, that's that's my. Oh yeah, that that's fucking white, guys. White, not gold. <laughs> I'm gonna have a damn aneurysm uh, about these records. Uh, try to see what else I might need over there. I don't want to make a bunch of trips back and forth. Since I'm doing it live, <laughs> I think I might need some of this. All right, all right. I think I got everything I want now. So now we're ready. Uh, so I talked about the Sports News Poker before, guys. It was in season two. Oh, it was 2006, by the way. I went and grabbed my shirt the other day after I recorded because I. For the life of me, couldn't remember what year it was. I knew, I knew the moment I said 2001 in the video that I, that couldn't have been right because I graduated from high school in 1999, so there's no way that two years later I was in Vegas. Um, but uh, no, I've told that story before. I mean, I'll tell it real quick and short and dirty, but if you want to see it um, or hear it in its full length, um, the story of when I spent 31 days in Vegas. Um, and when I said I would never go back to Vegas, it's season two. I don't know the episode number, but it was after I had left my main house. I had gone out to um, this. Um, I had gone out into the desert to make the passive mob farm. Um, that's whenever I tell the story of going to Vegas. And the whole episode is just me digging up sand and talking about my time in Vegas. But uh, the short story is I uh, spent 31 days in Vegas, played a lot of poker, um, quit poker for good at the same time after playing for several years, um, went enough money to buy a car, uh, screamed at some little Asian girl. That's pretty much the story, I think. Alright, so what I'm thinking here is I need a pick for sure. Definitely gonna want to have a pick. Definitely, definitely. Uh, definitely need a pick. Alright, what else am I gonna definitely need? 
probably definitely gonna need some sand or gravel to get back down. <laughs> Did not plan that out. Uh, yeah, uh, Pauls and I started Sniper Elite last night, and so far it seems pretty good. Um, Pauls and I never recorded together, just him and I, and it started out a little awkward. Um, because normally he, you know, he's used to recording with Beef, I'm re used to recording with B00. Um, I mean, not that Pauls and I don't record together or talk to each other on a regular basis, but it, I don't know, it just seemed weird at the start, it was like, I don't know, who, who's this guy, <laughs> he's not beat up alone, and I'm not vintage beef, uh, but we got a little competitive with it too, and uh, then I noticed that Paul's played the game all night long last night, um, I mean he was playing multiplayer, like PvP, uh, but uh, I also have a feeling he was, uh, he was practicing, <laughs> he'll, he'll deny that. Like ferociously, but I think I think he was. All right, so I'm not gonna put it in front of the the glowstone. So let's just start first and like just go up the wall here and see what it looks like. And the ladder will be my uh, my safe way down. So. uh daughter's been teething. That's a pain in the ass. Like, right in the ass. I'm not even kidding. Um, <laughs> like, oh man, she's just so ha angry about it. It's making all this outside noise. This needs to stop it. It's freaking me out. Hey guy, fuck you. Oh, hey. He didn't make it. He's got a friend though, some bitch. Oh man, I thought I was gonna fall. I forgot there was a ladder there. All right, let's go down here, just to look and see how that looks. Ooh! Almost didn't make it myself. Hey, he dropped a bow. And why does it ever happen ultra hardcore? I never get a bow. That easy. So I probably don't need that glowstone right there. And go up with another row of that. I think that's gonna look alright though. It might be a little one toned. I think it's alright there. It's probably alright. <laughs> you sure? Oh no. Um but yeah, I think I started talking about this and I never finished. Um I bought uh I bought Back to the Future. You still got the E pants. <laughs> that's Etho's new name, that are Methos Lab. Uh, for those that watch Saints Row, is that the hub? It sounds sexy. Uh, what the fuck was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna get my silk touch paste to grab that. Uh, I didn't tell you guys what I was doing, so no one knew. You're, you're probably all wondering the same damn thing. Damn, that ladder's worthless now. Let's <laughs> make a little step here. Right, give me this. Come in, me. Oh, oh, I got it. Good. All right, now let's go up another layer here. Um, how did you start telling you guys my life story? <laughs> oh, a lot of people thought that uh, I live in Holly Springs because of my P.O. box in Holly Springs, but actually I don't live in Holly Springs. So, there's that. <laughs> I uh, I purposely got the P.O. box in a nearby city. So I live near Holly Springs, but uh, yeah, I, I purposely got it in somewhere I don't live, just, just you know, in case. <laughs> you never know, man. People are... People are fucking crazy. Oh man, that's a good story. I should I just should not I should just stop right there and not tell it though. Just get all excited. Oh my god, it's a good story, and then just nothing. That'd be kinda mean, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh man, I purposely like being all quiet now. Not telling the story. Gooder, are you gonna tell the story? I don't know. Alright, so I used to work at this place called uh uh Setlink. Um, I've told that part of the story before, um, and there was this guy that worked there named Jay. Now this isn't part of the crazy part of the story, but I got to give some character background here, too, in order to uh, to properly tell this story. Um, and he started this web shot, website 
called the Third Shift because he worked on Third Shift. Um, I was convinced that he was like this Satan worshiper guy, but um, he turned out to be this hardcore Mormon. Like I remember, whenever I actually got the position of working Third Shift, it was because he uh, he had to go to Brazil on his mission um, for the Mormon Church. So again, I always thought that uh, he was like this like devil worshiper or something because. I don't know. He was kind of he's kind of crazy, man. Um, but anyways, yeah, he started this uh, this website, thethirdshift.net, and uh, it was kind of like just like a vlog or not vlog blog type website. Um, I don't know what it is now. It might still be active, honestly. Um, whenever he left to go to Brazil, though, and I took his position on Third Shift, um, he asked me to start running the website, and I end up taking it in the complete opposite direction from where he intended it to be because I turned it into a porn website um, but whenever he got back from Brazil he, he unporned it um, <laughs> like uh, I, I, I wrote a, a script to where you know um, in order to look at the porn on the website you had to uh, click on banners first and it would count the banner clicks and give you more porn views <laughs> and I spent my night looking for porn on the internet and then I'd put it up on the third shift uh, website um, but uh, it wasn't just me. There was another guy, Brett was his name, um, that had started the Third Shift website with Jay. Um, and I still talk to Brett sometimes. Jay, on the other hand, I've lost contact with completely. Um, and there was uh, this guy named Ryan that came along. Like, we used to play these uh, this um, MUD together, multi-user dungeon, um, text-based role-playing <laughs> online game. Um, and, uh, Ryan played that with us, and so, I don't know, we just, we just kind of hung out, and so he, he kind of joined the Third Shift crew, um, I was the only employee that was actually on Third Shift, but, uh, so, again, I'm just doing character introductions right now, <laughs> uh, for, for the crazy story. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, fuck me! <laughs> oh, mm. Yep. I think there was a spider. I heard a spider right before I died. <laughs> I guess we'll see what we see when we get here. Uh. <laughs> uh. That's that's the truth. <laughs> oh, couldn't be said better, really. Um, oh, what's up with this light right through here? Light of God. Uh, so, anyways, yeah. Um, oh my God! Fuck me, man! What is going on? How did he get down here? Probably just spawn down here. Really, there's probably enough darkness. Well, fuck, man! Stupid guys. Oh damn! Mess that up. this stuff up. Uh, and then the third member of the story is a guy named Brandon. Um, man, I gotta go down there and get that stuff. Come to me. Come to me stuff. Where's my sword ass? Probably down there, right? Yeah, okay. Was I wearing armor? I guess I was. Um... Which is funny, because his last name was, uh, well, I won't say what his last name was, but his last name was the same as uh, my mom's ex-husband's last name. And so the very first time, like, I remember whenever Brandon moved, uh, he, he, he ended up going to the same high school as I was going to. And uh, so I'd seen him at high school, or at school, the, like, his first day, basically. You know, whenever a new kid comes to school, you uh, you see the new kid or whatever. Um so I had seen the new kid, and then I go to work that day, and there he is, and that's where I learned his last name. As soon as I learned his last name, um, I was like, ooh, gross, because <laughs> uh, my mom's ex-husband, I've told you guys about that guy, he's a fucking asshole. Um, so yeah, as soon as I heard his last name, I was like, dude, that's that's terrible, I'm not, I can never be friends with you, but uh, we became friends. Um, so anyways, uh, yes, the story involves myself, Ryan, and Brandon. And, um, so they had started looking for people, um, or 
it was kind of weird. Um, there's probably multiple stories I could tell here that involve um, them, us, and the third shift. Nitho, is he leaving? Oh, well, I missed that. Damn it. Um, for those that don't know, you're not going to see much of Etho here in the th this coming month because uh, he's busy with work. <laughs> There's so many people that want to know what Vito does for a living. <laughs> like, Reddit's dream to know all these things about Vito. It's hilarious to me. Um, so, anyways, uh, we we would start. We would get these calls. Um, since we were playing this mud together, those guys would like hang out after they got off work because they all work second shift, and I was the, the, the only only employee on third shift. Um, so, when it, but whenever they got off work, a lot of times they would hang out and just use the computers. You know, we we we'd play games and shit together, basically. Um, so, uh, a lot of times at night, <laughs> for whatever reason, man, the phone would ring, and uh, those those guys would answer it for me. I mean, a lot of times I'd come to work and uh, go to go to sleep, in fact, <laughs> and they would just let me sleep uh, because. I wasn't getting a lot of sleep. <laughs> Story of my life. Uh, I'm already messing this shit way up. Okay, so that one's all the way up. All right. Um. So, anyways, you know, I don't, I don't even know what happened to Ryan. Um, he's someone that I would still be friends with if I knew where he was at, because we got along great. Um, but we just kind of went our separate ways. Um, I left that company, and anyways, uh. So one night, the a call comes in from this girl that's drunk. I mean, that happens a lot on third shift is drunk people um, calling in for tech support or whatever. I want to get up here to see what the fuck knocked me off. Was it a creeper? No, that creeper would have died. He wouldn't have been able to make that fall. I think it was a spider. Um, I'm so... <laughs> peek over. <laughs> I'm like leaning in my chair here trying to see. Um, so yeah, this lady calls, or girl. It wasn't really a lady. Um, I should put some torches up here, shouldn't I? I don't have any torches. Nope, terrible idea. Oh no, I can't. I'm stuck in here. I to parkour it. <clears throat> okay, that didn't work at all. Let's try this. Oh yeah, that works. Oh man, that was a close one. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lady calls, starts flirting with Ryan and Brandon. They ended up going the next day and doing a freaking photo shoot with these girls, uh, for the website. <laughs> uh, but that's not the story I wanted to tell. Um, so I get this call one night from this girl, and she's like talking to me like she knows me, right? And I did not know her. But uh, she was just, you know, just kept on and on about how she just wanted me, right? And um, so again, I didn't want, I didn't know her, man. I didn't want anything to do with her. Didn't know her. Um, had a girlfriend at the time. I'm not sure if it was, because you know, I've known my wife since high school, but I'm not sure at the time frame here if I was dating her or not at the time. Um, doesn't really matter though. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> uh. So anyways, this goes on for a little while where she starts emailing me and just uh, pretty much constant stalkerish, really. Um, and, I, you know, I just kind of ignored it. Like, she sent me her picture, and I, I think I still have it somewhere. I should try to find it because I still have, like, all my old emails um, from whenever I worked there somewhere. I'm not sure. I think it's on. I think it's on a Linux machine. That's not even. I think it's in the closet. <laughs> Keeping my dirty little secrets in the closet. Um. But uh, I just had to stop recording there to sneeze. <laughs> I don't know if anyone noticed. Uh, but if you did, I wasn't looking at a walkthrough for Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, this went on for a little while, and uh, she. She followed me home at some point. I don't. I'm still trying to remember the details. I remember there being something to do with the post office. Like I had to go to the post office after work, and she had followed me over there or something. Again, some of this is a little bit fuzzy, um, but I just remember what 
what happened in the end. I'm gonna end up dying. I need to eat. Uh, so, anyways, I think that's gonna look all right. I just don't know if I want to leave that glowstone showing through like that. I probably want to fill fill that in with like glowstone or something too. I don't know. So. I want to go ahead and get two more in one stack. So yeah, she figured out where I lived, and uh, then the next email I got basically was, you know, saying that she should come over to my house, and I was just like, no, <laughs> no. Um, I do remember that this was, I was at least 17, uh, but I, I was still in high school, but I had already bought my own house. Um, for those that don't, haven't heard that part of the story, I moved out when I was 17 because my mom and I could not get along. Um, so, uh, which is funny because, you know, now she lives in the house I bought when I was 17. Uh, she's renting it <laughs> from me. Uh, but, uh, anyways, so, this girl, man, she, you know what's funny is I can't even remember her name. Woo-wee, that's a, that's a drop. Um, she ended up following me home one day, and it was like late at night whenever she got there, and she ended up sleeping at my house. Um, we didn't do anything <laughs> at all. Like, if I could find the picture, you would see why. Like, she wasn't, like, fat or anything like that. She was just not all there. Like, there was something seriously wrong with this girl. Um, I would, I would guess that she was probably in her early 20s. But, uh, she definitely had some kind of mental issue where she wasn't all right in the head. Um, but yeah, this bitch, like, man, she stalked me and she followed me home and... I didn't know what to do with her, man. So I just let her stay at my house. <laughs> and uh, I remember she was all like, like at the time I didn't have a roommate or anything. I was just, uh, I was all alone. I, I when I when I when I bought the house, um, or I guess leased it's what I did. Um, I uh, at first I had a roommate, but uh, he ended up doing something. He got in some kind of trouble. Oh man, what did he do? It was something to do. Like him and some friends had went to Charlotte and like vandalized uh, a used car parking lot like busted a whole bunch of windows for no fucking reason at all it was some dupe, stupid shit man um and uh so he ended up he ended up having to move back in with his mom uh to save money for for a court or something I don't remember why he had to save money but he had to save some money so what do we think of this but yeah, I'm th pretty sure that's a unique story. I don't think I've ever told you guys about the crazy bitch that stalked me and followed me home and tried to rape me. <laughs> I don't know about tried to rape me, but uh, she was definitely coming on to me at my house that night. And I was just like, nope, nope, not going to happen. Leave me alone. But the, uh, the girls that Brandon and Ryan went and met, <laughs> man, they were some skanks. I remember looking at those pictures and being like, Oh my god, like, and Brandon, he was like, oh man, he's like, was the definition of straight edge. I've never seen anyone like him. Oh man, there was this girl, um, her name was Shannon, and she was like the set link whore. In fact, I think, pretty, pretty sure everyone just called her the set link whore. Like, she tried to get with every single guy that, uh, that ever, ever worked at set link. And I remember I was at a point... Uh, I think it was after I had broken up with, uh, I need to get some dirt and fix that, it's just bothering me now. Uh, I think it was after the point I had broke up with the girl I dated before, before I ended up meeting my wife, actually. Um, I think it was after, yeah, pretty sure it was during a, a breakup. It was either that or before, I don't, I don't know when the hell it was, but, uh, I was desperate, man. I remember going over to her house, because she had, like, offered a blowjob, and, uh, <sighs> <laughs> But, anyways, and there was nothing. She was a nice girl, but there was nothing like attractive about her, other than her. I mean, her personality was okay. I didn't mind talking to her, but it wasn't really someone I'd want to spend the rest of my life with or anything like that. I guess you could say. Um, The 
the mud I played on, because I know people are going to ask, it was, because uh, the last time I mentioned it, I got tons of questions about it. It was uh, Errant Destiny, was the name of it. And my character's name was Laven. And the story behind that is uh, the guy that got me to play on the mud the very first time, he said, uh, he said, man, if you make your, if you, if you pretend you're a girl, people will give you tons of stuff. And so I made a female mage named Laven. And uh, for the first little while there, I pretended I was a girl. <laughs> And there was actually a lie. People didn't give you stuff and pretend to be a girl. Just an asshole. Tried to trick me. Okay, now that I've put this wall up, I'm starting to think... Because, see, I want these to light up whenever you step on them. But the thing is, if I extend that out, it's not going to look good against the wall. And I probably should just... probably should just go up here and fill this in. Um, so did I ever tell you what game I bought recently? <laughs> I don't think I did. I think I started telling that, and then somehow or another came along the came to my mind the crazy bitch that slept at my house one time. Um, which <laughs> my wife, man, whenever uh, whenever we first started dating, um, this she was still like this. Whenever she was still in high school, but I'd already graduated. Um, I remember I had went and picked her up one 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 weekend and brought her back to the house and uh i was so tired <laughs> man i i've always been tired <laughs> i'm so tired uh but uh, uh it oh no there she is i can't tell finish telling the story about her <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways the, the whole the whole story was that uh, i had fallen asleep on the couch and uh Every time I woke up for the next, like, six hours, she was just sitting there staring at me. I keep stepping on that thing by accident. You know what I was thinking the other day is that I ought to put a, uh, some stairs right here, maybe. Because I could probably grab this stuff, too. Yeah, without stepping on it. Yeah. I think that looks alright. I just kind of wish... You know, I guess I could pop these out one. How would that look if I did that? Get some stairs real quick. Did I have bring any stairs up here? I thought I did. Actually, you know what? A half slab will do just fine. There we go. Um, so, yeah, if I pop these out one. Put a piece of redstone dust there with that. <laughs> you think I would know the answer to this? Uh, uh, give me these two, just in case. I want to do something fancy. See how that looks. Problem is, you won't be able to see the next ones up. It does light up there. But yeah, you can't see any of the other ones. See, I kind of wanted to do that, but I wanted to step out each level. How would that look there? Because I'd have to encase it to bring it out. Right? Like, so then this one would be. I knew that wasn't going to work. <laughs> I don't even know why I tried. Whenever you, you press on the thing, because you get to see the lights come up. 
but no, I think we're just going to have to, uh, to stick with it being encased there. Come here. So in the last video I talked about upcoming UHC seasons and um, things I'd like to change and concerns I have and just all those things and um, got a lot of opinions from you guys and it's good to hear those things uh, just to see what everyone's thinking and see if we're on the same page and stuff um, I talked about some mistakes I make in an upcoming season and people are like oh my god how many seasons have been recorded and um, something I've wanted to not do is talk about upcoming seasons while well, there's a season currently being aired because I feel like it takes the attention off of the season that we're currently playing so I don't really want to talk about upcoming seasons um, until you know a season's done sort of thing so the problem with this right here is I can't grab stuff up there anymore I think that's okay next question is do I fill these in here the answer to that question and for this right here this opening I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do glass or something I wanted you to be able to see from the outside that there's a structure here that's been kind of covered over by the mountain it feels like it's been dark the whole time I've been down here but um, I don't know like this this the, that right there I'm gonna put it in fact I, let me look at something real quick Yeah. Okay. What this is going to be is um, I wasn't sure. I seen that last night. I want to leave these one block as like a border here, and then do um, right in here will be in the water. I didn't know light would see. Oh yeah, stairs stuff. Um, See, so yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave the border. It may not. It may not stay smooth stone. I might change it something else. But uh, like that, and then I'm going to go all the way up, alternating like I talked about in the last episode. Um, I'll do the same thing over here, and then probably for this back wall as well. Maybe. Actually, no. No, not for the back wall. Because it wouldn't look right. The back wall I might do in all stone like that, I think. I think that's probably what I'll do. Um, But yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm going to call this good here. Uh, episode 299. Um, stay tuned for episode 300. You might be disappointed. It's not a montage or anything. It's... um. But it is going to include everyone on the server that can be on at the time when we are recording the thing that we're doing. <laughs> you can pretty much figure out what we're, what's going on here. Um, but uh, I did want to I did want to do it with everyone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can close. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I appreciate you guys watching as always, and. Um, People have asked if I'm going to show you the stuff that comes in the P.O. box, and I will. As long as it's appropriate. And I will be using gloves to open them. <laughs> and a canary. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Always on fire. You watch it go. Yes. <laughs> no, you're not even shit. Just got Explode out of them from all sides.